everyone. Let's do this. I'm Dennis. I'm the Paleo Gamer. You know who I am. Uh, you've seen me do this before. Um, it's just that I haven't really um, talked doing it. I've been doing a lot of satisfactory on this channel before. But um, it's 1.0, so let's um, let's try it. Let's let's see what it looks like now. I'll be honest. I have jumped in for a bit and um, looked around the world a bit, so I know a few things. Um, and this audio is really loud. Um, That's better. Now I don't feel like I'm shouting, having to shout. Now I don't feel like I have to keep shouting to be heard over the music. So, um, anyway, here we are. Like I said, I have played a little bit in the new world, so I have seen around. There's a lot of new interesting stuff there, and a lot of new... They've reshuffled some things. Um, one of my favorite modes in my preferred world is my preferred starting location is gone. But we're going to start there anyway. So, new game. And I'm going to go to the Northern Forest because I like the Northern Forest. And we're going to call this... Um, I know we're in Massage AB... Massage 2 ABB, but... We're going to go to SETI Alpha 1, just because I've called all my save games SETI Alphas. So, and I want to go through the full onboarding because some new stuff has happened and we'll see what it looks like. Separation from main transport complete. Group A delivered to Calistian region. All pioneers functional, initiating dispersion. Attention pioneer, I am Ada, your personal instance Hi, of the artificial directory and assistant. Welcome to the Fixit Incorporated Save the Day program. A Fixit pioneer has three core assignments. Construct. All pioneers must follow Fixit guidelines and instructions when constructing any building. Automate. Every pioneer is responsible for setting up and managing efficient pipelines, outposts, and power infrastructure. Explore and exploit. Fixit selected planets are rich with resources suitable for direct use or further investigation. Stay within your designated. And that is why the world is counting on pioneers like you. Fixit. Short term solutions to long term problems. Okay, what was that? Just Initiating started. planet fall. Atmospheric entry in three, two, one. Beginning arrow assist. Drag within acceptable parameters. Down. Planet fall complete. Drop pod integrity nominal. Omni situational exploration suit nominal. Pioneer. Acceptable. Congratulations. You are the third in your region to survive planet fall. Welcome to Massage 2, A, B, B, in the binary system of Akicha. Loading objective-based introduction. Begin onboarding. 
first contact safety tool supplied due to presence of alien megafauna. Adhere to Fix-It procedure and equip the Fix-It Inc. Xeno Zapper before leaving the drop zone. Okay, we can do that. And, um... Next objective. Dismantle the drop pod. Fix-It Incorporated is cost-effective and efficient. We do not waste. The drop pod will be recycled to construct the first stage of the habitat and utility base, often referred to as the hub. Next objective, use the resource scanner to find and collect additional iron to be able to build the hub. If you cannot find iron, be assured scans of the planet have revealed sufficient iron sources. Okay, this is not my preferred starting location. Exactly, I would prefer to be up on the northern cliffs, but um, we need to get started. So I'm going to set up a temporary base and move further. And I gotta say, the water looks a lot better in 1.0 than it did in early access. And of course, since I know how this works, I'm collecting as many as much biomass as I can. Potential edible collected. If consumed before authorized as compatible with the human digestive system by Fixit, the consumer is responsible for any and all consequences. Store this potential resource for later use. Yeah, yeah, I gotta get a get some iron first. But yeah, um, having played several hundred hours in early access, I know I'm gonna need biomass, so I'm just going ahead and grabbing it. And oh, there's a node of some kind. See, so I can get down there without killing. Oh, there's a hog. Was a hog. Samples of new alien species acquired. Notable features are blunt teeth, suggesting it is herbivorous, and a thickly plated skull and spine, suggesting it is proficient at inflicting and receiving blunt force trauma. Preserve the remains for later study. Next objective, use the build gun to construct the hub. Iron is a base component necessary for all near future progress, so ensure you build the hub close to iron sources. Fix it does not pay by the kilometer. Okay, fix it doesn't pay that kilometer. Does fix it pay for anything? What am I getting paid? over there, iron's over there, that looks like something else over there. Uh, we'll just set up right here. And, okay. Hub foundation built. The hub terminal and crafting bench are only the humble beginnings of a successful fix-it pioneer, but essential for the next steps of onboarding.
Once finished, the hub will function as your base of operations. Next objective, complete hub upgrade one. this early stuff goes. Okay. Hub upgrade one, storage and frame completed. Equipment like the portable miner can now be made in the workshop. Congratulations on completing your first milestone, the first of many providing access to new recipes and technologies for the fix-it mission. Next objective. Complete hub upgrade two. Okay, so just go over here. I can't make anything else right now. Actually, one thing I will do is go over here and store all this stuff I can't use yet. Okay, so we need more iron. build a um, portable miner yet because I don't have enough materials. I need plates and rods for that. So I'm going to get about a hundred ore, which should give me enough to get me started. Yeah, I don't go as fast as some people. I'm not speedrunning the game. I also tend to do more utilitarian factories and then come back later when I've got time to pretty them up. But I don't go in for the really elaborate builds. But, you know, I've completed the game in early access four times, so I have some ideas to how this game works. So, what have I got? rods and ten plates, so I'm going to need more than that because I want to build a I'm going to go about half and half of each, that should be enough to get me to phase two, build the um, uh, equipment workshop, and um, excuse me, and build the um, portable miners so I can start working on these two nodes that I've got. Then, since I'm mostly healed at this point, I may go over and clear that second node just to get that up and running. Now we just have to I got more biomass. That should be enough for right now, even though leaves seem to burn faster. Maybe just me, because it's been a while since I actually ended up leaves, but leaves seem to work a bit faster. The nice part about the Northern Forest here is that there's a lot of um, fire as well, so you don't have to worry about it. And if you version 1, we can um, use biomass burners have bigger build ones, so we can just set that up a chain, set up a power plant. So let's make 34 plates. Go ahead and get feed the hub. 
just to get the next set of stuff. Hub upgrade 2, power and shell, completed. The smelter can turn raw ore such as copper and iron into ingots, and the biomass burner generates power when fueled. Fun fact, most of the native flora and fauna is compatible with Fixit technology. Fueling the biomass burner with inappropriate materials will result in deductions or even cancellation of your yearly bonus. Next objective, complete hub upgrade 3. Yeah, I want to know what this yearly bonus is because, you know, I, I don't know that I even get paid. Okay, we're going to need concrete and that sort of stuff. Oh, that's the reward. We need um, plates, rods, and copper wire, which means I'm going to have to get the copper thing going. So let's go over here. Let's go out the back. And let's see if I can build the equipment workshop. Yep. And we're going to go over here, and we're going to build... I'm going to build three for now. back over here and just start this guy running and if I recall correctly that copper node is right over here yep I see it being sparkly to start connecting power needs so area under construction uh, don't did, did, have not seen that before okay uh here actually wait can i build a smelter yet Go ahead and take all those. And I guess I need to put some biomass in the burner. There we go. Now that'll be building. Um, that'll be happily making copper ore for me. Meanwhile, I'm going to go over here. Is that limestone? Because I'm going to need it soon. just normal, but okay.
Potential edible collected. Reminder that look and smell alone do not provide sufficient data to determine exact risk of consumption. Just because it looks like you can eat it does not mean it won't eat you. Store this potential resource for later use. Something you may hear is my dog deciding that it wants attention. Um, let's see here. What do I need? Okay, I'm gonna have to get some iron in a minute. Hub upgrade 3, interior furnishing, completed. The constructor can produce simple parts, and power poles allow for the expansion of the power grid. When you make the inevitable mistake, Fix-It's dismantling feature is designed to salvage all resources used during construction, in line with our zero waste policy. We understand that Fix-It pioneers are only human, and thus prone to error. Next objective, complete hub upgrade 4. Yeah, the main thing here is you can now customize your character. You can um, change what your build gun looks like, you can change what your helmet looks like, and you can also um, change the color of your... Like, let's give this guy a... Uh, like we're wearing a proper... Here we go. 
proper denim outfit now. Okay. Where was I? Okay. Um, hub upgrade four. To do this, we're going to need cable, which I still have plenty of. We also need concrete and a bunch of iron plates. Fortunately, we're smelting that right now. Um, concrete we can make. We'll also need concrete for power bolts because that will let us build a second um, smelter so we can smelt both the iron and the copper at the same time. You know, let me go grab all this stuff. out here and we build the second smelter. So we'll next to the first one. Well we have constructors now. Okay. This and that. Back to the same. Okay, so we'll build a power pole here. So let's build a constructor. Build it here. We're gonna make. Have you making iron? 
those. That wasn't good. Okay. Either I just blew the fuse or I ran out of biomass. Which one was it? I ran out of biomass. Okay. Fortunately, I picked up a lot earlier. few minutes I should get the um, I should unlock the second biomass burner on the hub and um, then I'll be able to start building biomass burners on my own and we'll just set up a power for it.
Hub upgrade 4, landing platform and utilities, completed. Conveyor belts connect the output of one building to the input of another and transport resources. Due to past incidents I have been asked to issue a clarification, portable miners, obviously, do not have a connection for conveyor belts. There is nothing to suggest, visually or functionally, that they can be connected to portable miners. If this is something you struggle with, do not worry. Fixit has alternative uses for all their pioneers. Next objective, complete hub upgrade 5. Okay, what's upgrade 5 need? Um, rods, cable, and concrete, all stuff I'm already getting. And we'll start with rods and concrete, because they're already there. Time to start automating things. So I'm just going to pick up this. Okay. Now then, we'll, um, which way do we want to aim our production line? Uh, we'll aim it this way. When it comes up. Portable liners are my next upgrade, so. Copper wire being manufactured over there. That was more than a hundred, but oh well. Um, ingots, I'm going to get done a minute. Um, is that enough? It's enough. Hub upgrade 5, power expansion, completed. The miner, unlike portable miners, can be connected to conveyor belts and requires power to function. Caution, as you expand, the energy demand of your production may exceed the capacity of your power grid. The onboarding program was established because Fixit pioneers often experience memory issues after planetfall. If you are experiencing nosebleeds, nausea, existentialism, or an itchy scalp, there is no need for concern. This should pass within five to seven workdays. Next objective, complete hub upgrade six. Gives us the biomass burner and the space elevator, so that's the last one. Needs 
rods, use that. We're already done there. Uh, need to go get some more concrete. And my dog is now having an existential crisis involving the Roomba. So. little production chain over here. One of these will be making, um, we'll have this one making plates, and the other one will be making
pipes. assembly line totally automated so I can live without this thing now because that was my iron plate manufacturer you were my first smelter so I don't need you anymore because I'm going to replace you over here like getting my space clear because it makes it easier to see where things are going. Okay. Make some more power up here. Build a smelter. Seems weird not picking up flowers. It used to be you needed flowers long ago to be able to um, paint things or add patterns and things like that. They've gotten rid of all that now. So um, flowers just stay now. I 
needs to just be stored somewhere. Missing iron plates. Well, I know where I can find those. Now mass producing rods and plates. And that should continue on its own indefinitely since everything's got power. Which means I can get rid of my rod factory down here, which I think is this guy. Yeah, this guy was producing wire. We're gonna do that next. manually build some more concrete because that will be my next my third thing to automate here rods, which should be over here somewhere. Not quite enough yet. Just sitting on the stack of iron ore I'm not going to do much with, so I may as well just stop. Hub upgrade 6, landing platform hydraulics completed. Freighter landing initialized. Congratulations, you have completed onboarding and achieved the absolute minimum skill level required of a Fixit pioneer. Fixit looks forward to your future achievements, because a future with Fixit is a future with you. Tier 1 and 2 milestones are now available in the hub, and biomass burners can now be built individually. Your first official objective is to initiate project assembly by building the space elevator. This objective will take a significant amount of resources, so Fixit recommends getting to work. All right, and there we did it. We have now completed onboarding. We can build the space elevator. And our, set up a power grid. So what I need to do now is um, get a full power grid set up, automate the copper and the concrete, uh, figure out a way to get screws and reinforced plates started. And what do we want to start with? Um, I always go with base building because I want to get the foundations up as fast as I can. Uh, two of those three things were already have automated, so I need to automate the concrete, so that will make that easiest. But um, it's been about an hour, and I like to keep 
these things in bite-sized chunks, so I stop for now. Um, welcome to Satisfactory 2.0, or 1.0, everyone. Uh, my name is Dennis, I am the Paleo Gamer, and I will see y'all probably in a very short time. I'm just going to go take care of my dog right now. Let's talk to everyone later.